Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Bum Blood Blood. I want to talk about Bob Aaron. Do you think that Bob Aaron, you know, gave a hundred million dollars to Tyson Fury to somewhat mess up with Deontay Wilder and Al Heyman uh, trying to do for the second re for the rematch? Because I think you know the the first fight was it was good it was a good fight and it made some money and I think the I think the second fight the rematch will make it more will make more money than the first fight obvious because it ended in a draw and um, I think this is this goes back I think this goes back to you know Bob Aaron and Ter and, and who is Terence Crawford's boss one of Terence Crawford to fight Errol Spence but Al Heyman and Errol Spence. I think Errol Spence, uh, Errol Spence said that uh, Al Heyman uh, vetoed that that fight and, and told him prolong uh, prolong it, uh, let it marinate, whatever. Because you know uh, Terence Crawford don't have nobody to fight over there in the Walter Weight division because all the fighters in uh, PBC uh, boxing uh, stable, which is with Al Heyman. So do you think that do you think that he did that on purpose just to mess it to? To slow him down or to mess it up, you know, because I think Bob Aaron, that, that's a smart move what he just did, to a certain degree, I would say, because this is the thing, isn't it? it he would Tyson Fury would have to fight somebody that's gonna make that money, to generate that hundred million dollars uh, fight, um, the hundred million dollars back to Bob Aaron, because I think that was Bob Aaron money that he he. He uh, gave to uh, is going to give to Tyson Fury, and I'm thinking it it might be in the, in, in the contract. It might be a, a, a some kind of clause. I mean, some kind of thing in there saying that you know you got to fight these fighters. You know, these certain fighters, and not the first fight. He ain't gonna fight Deontay Wilder the first fight because he got he's he's gonna he might lose that fight. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he Tyson Fury somewhat didn't want to really want the rematch. I don't think, or maybe, or, or, or this could be the reason too at the same time. It seemed like he didn't want the rematch, but maybe he was talking to Bob Aaron at the time that he didn't want to, um, you know, uh, didn't want to fight uh, Deontay Wilder. Maybe he wanted that hundred million dollar contract, or maybe they was just in talks. Maybe they, I think Tyson Fury had to talk him up to a hundred million because you know he, you know Bob Aaron or, or any promoter, you're not gonna, they're not just gonna. Uh, uh, Always just give you a hundred million. You got to talk to talk to 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 him for a hundred million dollars, up to a hundred million. He might start out fifty million. You know, at, at the time when uh, he was fighting uh, Deontay Wilder, or or after Deontay Wilder. You see, what I'm saying he he probably was in talks to him then. Tyson Fury and Frank Warren and uh, Bob Aaron. I'm talking about. And uh, uh, you know, the thing about it, the fight. I'm not saying. Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, that fight would never get made. I think it's gonna get I think it's gonna get made. It's just when it's gonna get made. It ain't gonna get no it ain't gonna get made now, right now. Not on Tyson Fury first contract and uh the first fight. Maybe I I, I think at the end the, the fifth fight. I think it might be the fourth or fifth fight, he might get that fight with Deontay Wilder. That's what I'm thinking. You see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking that this is my opinion, a speculating. I think that Bob Aaron did this uh intentionally to you know what I'm saying to um hopefully get that fight with uh uh, Ty, uh Deontay Wilder or e even if he don't get it he still got Tyson Fury um to you know generate more revenue for top rank and uh to get back at Al Heyman so it kind of worked both ways for Bob Aaron to a certain point you know what I'm saying? But if he don't get that money back, that's a catch-22 because if he don't get that money back, he'll lose out on money. You know, Tyson Fury is known. I think he's he's known over here than uh, Anthony Joshua. That's why Anthony Joshua over here fighting Big Baby Miller. But, I mean, nobody don't know who Big Baby Miller is and nobody don't know who Tyson Fury, uh, 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 Anthony Joshua is. So, but everybody knows, a lot of people, I think some people know people, some people know Tyson Fury, who he is after the fight after uh, Deontay Wilder. So, now I just think that um, boy, boxing is a it's a competitive sport, man. It's a especially with the con when it's 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 more competitive on the outside dealing with contracts and stuff like that, man. And you know what I'm saying, and money. You know what I'm saying. It's very competitive. You know what I'm saying because Deontay Wilder, he's a free agent. You know I think that you know some people going somebody's going to offer him a hundred million dollars too. I'm thinking I, I I could be wrong, but we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the left man. He's the left. He's the only man standing. And it just with his own. And now Tyson Fury is with ESPN, and he's with Frank Warren and Bob Aaron. 
But it, and Anthony Joshua with Eddie Harris, with all them promoters, they all signed except Deontay Wilder. So somebody's going to come along. Al Hammond is going to be, Al Hammond is going to have to say, look, I'm gonna give you a hundred million for you know for five fights or whatever, or maybe probably two hundred million. I'm I'm just saying, because I don't see him standing there, somebody offering that much that much that 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 much money. You see what I'm saying? So, um, Bob Harriman and you know um, he's a smart businessman. I see I see what he did. You know what I'm saying? So, threw a monkey wrench in uh, Deontay Wilder's plan. Now Deontay Wilder's gonna probably have to fight. If we don't get that fight with Tyson Fury, he's gonna fight somebody like Dylan White or or Brazil, Dumb Nick Brazil. That's what the that's the next two fights that I'm thinking that Deontay White is gonna who, who he gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? So if we don't get the fight with uh Tyson Fury, so more likely that's what's gonna happen right now. Um, so what do y'all guys think? Do you think Bob Aaron did that un intentionally or or was on purpose or do you think that? He was mad at the fact that he wanted his fighter, Ter Terrence Crawford, uh, you know, to fight Errol Spence. But Al Heyman vetoed that uh, re uh, that match to pre prolong it or marinate to a mega fight at the same time. Because I believe that Bob Aaron wanted that fight with, uh, uh, with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. I really believe that. Some people say they, uh, they think he was lying. But why would he be lying? You know what I'm saying? So I understand that they prolong it. They, get, they, get, they make more money. You know what I'm saying? So, and the biggest fight right now is to be made is is Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. This, you know, because dealing with a different country. But then the second fight, if if you, if you asked out them, if it wasn't them, the biggest fight between the biggest fight to be made right now would be Errol Spence and Chance Crawford. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence. That's cool. I mean, that's good. But I don't think it's gonna be big. I, I, well, this this my opinion. I don't think it's gonna be big as as your Trans Crawford and Errol Spence and Deontay Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? But we we gotta see. But we we definitely see. But this, at the same time, what, what do y'all guys think about this? What Bob Aaron did and Al Heyman and all this stuff is going on right now. Uh, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the bell icon for new, for new notification, new videos from me. This is JT from Bob Below the Belt. All right, bye.